welcome back guys to another episode of Little Kitty Big City. We left off last time where we managed to get in a teleporter system thingy and we're over here. We're currently waiting for Tanuki to let us back over so that way we can actually talk to the crow because we do have um, enough shinies for now. Um, we also need to get a replacement phone for the beetle. Um, but we've done quite a few things. I do want to try and get all of the collectibles and finish all of the achievements um, in this series. So obviously if that's something that interests you, then don't forget to like and subscribe so that way you're kept up to date with all this. But for now, um, I'm just trying to see if there's a way that I can get back over um, to speak to the crow or even to maybe find a phone. We really need a phone for this freaking beetle. I think there is a way we can get around there actually. I think we just need to unblock something. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. So I said, I didn't really check all this properly last. Yeah, we go, there we go. Move it quickly. Quickly before the bozo comes. Go, 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 go. There we go, we found the area to get back through. Do if there's something we can do with this. I think there is, but I'm not sure. Oh, piss off lady. Okay. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting her to kick a ball at me. Right, we've got another bird. Right, we need a phone. Speaking of phones. Thank you. Don't you dare try and poo on me. Oh yeah, I wanted also to um, talk to that poxy crow, haven't I? I got distracted with the phone. Hey, buggy bug bug. You did it, thank you so, so much. Do you want the old one? It still takes pictures, you just can't do emailing or anything. What's emailing? I don't really want to touch that, if I'm honest with you. You don't do emailing? I don't think so. So you've never been CC'd or heard the phrase per my last message? Oh, nope, although I do per all my messages. Now that I come to think about it, it's an absolutely blissful life you must leave, Kitty. Anyway, here's your phone. Yay, we've got a gunky freaking phone. Um, it might not be smart anymore, but the camera still works. We've got to take photos. Taking photos is ready, so we just, yep, right, okay. In fact, you should take a celebrity selfie right now. Bring up the camera and get snapping. Lol. Ready. There we go. We took a freaking photo. Take, can I not just like, if that's the case, one, two, three, four, five. A few moments later. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we caught that, that was quite easy. Um, bit cheap, but easy. Gonna have all these freaking screenshots and like, computer now which I don't want right so we go and talk to the crow let's go and talk to the crow also if there's a bone somewhere also there's a trash can down here which we've not looked at let's quickly check the trash can because if there's a bone in there we might be able to deal with that other dog up the other end wiggle 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 that kitty booty more shinies what was it? Something about 200 shinies? Oh. Oh, we've not checked this area, guys. Quickly give it a check. Got another trash can. Hopefully we'll find something to um distract that dog. That's my that's my hope. Something there. What's through here though? Can't go around that way. Ooh. What's this? Oh, we can nap. Oh, it's very Japanesey, like a Zen garden. So we've got seven spots to nap. Or can I just do? Hang on, did that say spots? Sleep in all the cozy spots, right? Can you get up now, please? Can you please get up? Can we do a thing with that bonsai? No. Okay. Oh, 
There's a gecko with a hat. I say gecko, it's not a gecko at all, that's a chameleon. Can we do anything with you? We can talk to him, hi. Hello? Are you talking to me? I like the click, click, click. Of course, you can see me. You're not camouflage, my dear. Um, yes. Astonishing. I've never met anyone who can see through my superior camouflage. It's not really that superior, but okay. Does this mean my power is fading? Um, are you a magician? Indeed. In fact, if you can see me, you may be able to see the magician's hat I wear. It lets other magicians know I'm patrolling the area, so they can see you too. Absolutely not. I'm invisible to all. That's why I'm rather surprised to be noticed by you. For example, I'm so good at disguise myself that I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. Right. See that? No, you didn't because my words are totally camouflaged. Ha, ah, that is pretty cool. Thank you, it took years to perfect. But if you're a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? We must be a magician as well. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. My eyes are weird? Have you seen them? I don't think I can, you'll just have to tell me. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird, is it? And they don't seem to stick out at all. They're right inside your head, taking up valuable brain room. Maybe use my eyes for thinking, <laughs> okay? Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? I don't think so. Should I be worried, do you think? I couldn't say I'm a magician, not a vet. However, if your weird and fear eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act, then I have finally met a worthy opponent. Wait, what? I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don new disguises, practice new tricks, engage in the noble art of self-improvement. We're going to have to find him throughout the um, map, I guess. I don't want you to change your my account. Ah, oh, sweet kitty. So weird, so small, so wrong. No, to restore my reputation as the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It is the only way to defeat your weird eyes. When you say you want to defeat my eyes, I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique. Then I shall reappear somewhere else. Obviously, I'll be almost impossible to detect, so I'll leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem. There is a place where hard hats shine, where concrete pours and diggers whine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your weird eye. I really like that, that's clever. Do you mean weird eyes? You might be meaning mind's eye. I don't know. Have you ever heard of a poetic license? No. Well, I have one, I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> anyway, good luck finding me. I really like that, I think this is fun. I think it's definitely fun. Let's check the chameleon, then we'll go and um, talk to the crow. I'm just gonna get up here, just because I don't want that um, builder to try and throw me out. Right, chameleon. With a weird hat. I mean, he might not even be here. This was just my guess. You know, I don't see the chameleon at all. It's very well camouflaged. You know, for now, let's just go and talk to the crow because that's what I've been trying to do for a while. And worry about the chameleon later. Um, I also tempted, or maybe, maybe the chameleon might be in here actually. If we've got to go and talk to Tanuki anyway, let's go and talk to Tanuki quickly. But I'll always have a quick look around for the um. The um, chameleon. Tanuki's not here. I don't know where Tanuki is. Alright, well. That's that then. Are all of these shinies? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so shiny, so pretty, so reflective. Who's a pretty crow? Are you disposing of them responsibly? Yes. <laughs> the hesitation. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I try disposing of them? Definitely not. These are ancient crew rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Your what? Oh yes, your reward. Now where on earth did I see that fish? Uh, just a minute. He's fricked off, hasn't he? Wait, crow, was this a scam? Where did he go? Here, oh he did bring me a fish. Whoa, a fish. This should give you some climbing energy. Not enough to go. Well, we'll be able to climb over these green bits now. Excellent. Where would I start climbing? There. We're going to need more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. 
thank you. No worries, enjoy the fish. And keep hold of any shinies you find there. I've just had an idea. Okay, what is the idea? Hang on, drop it. I want to eat it. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, I should get to eat it. Look at all the juicy fishness spraying everywhere. There we go. Get my first yummy fish. Okay, so we can go that way. Let's, let's go this way. Oh, this is cool. I see, I see, I see. Right, there's a shiny over here. This is so exciting. So we can climb up there more. Um, let's check down here first, though. Where are you? You're a big goose. That's what you are. Oh, hello there. I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance. I think it depends on the problem. I was about to get that shiny. Uh, oh, I see. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone. Yet it's a rather pressing concern. Although perhaps I'm just panicking. But there's no two ways about it. Um, about what? Oh, did I say? I seem to have mislaid my ducklings. They're going to be the rubber ones. Mislaid? Is this a bird joke? I don't follow. I get it. <laughs> Never mind. Missing ducklings sounds pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we're all enjoying an educational tour of the neighbourhood. Me teaching youngsters some local history, etc, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? Wait, did the robot take the ducklings? I didn't even know there was a statue there. I... Oh, you should absolutely visit it. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself in fact, will visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots. Delightful. Back then this was a lake, hulking great wet thing where the pair would swim. Splashing and frolicking, you know the sort of thing. But robots and water, eh? Yeah? Well that fizzing and spluttering, not simpatico at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees. The robot, not the duck I mean. <laughs> The robot's swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff. So we asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the fate if you ask me. Could never get my head around computers myself. The duck helped program the robot to wait in the playground where the duck swam. Grand idea. That. And it went beautifully. But. One fine day. Probably much like this one truth be told. The duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait a monster. Geeky. Okay. Usually Gekku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity galas, galas even. Lovely chap apart from the rampages, really. <laughs> rampages? Oh yes, humans write those up in little paper documentaries. Very engaging, really. Paper document... Do you mean comics? So Gekku kidnaps the duck and, whoopsie daisy, throws him through a star portal. Whoosh, quack, never to be seen again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. I are you saying that Geku has kidnapped your children? I'm not seeing how this relates to missing ducklings. I'm gonna go for that one. Oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with the ducklings for a split up to find more neighbourhood stories for our little show and tale session. Show and tale? That sounds fun. Eh. Oh yes, I thought so too. Anyway, we scampered up in different directions, all very exciting in the moment. But, ah, uh, I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to re um, reconvene. Aha. Uh -huh. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see. But I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happens. So I retraced my steps back here and waited. No luck. Alas, no, but you seem like a practical sort of cat. Very resourceful. So we could team up. I'll keep watch here. Being kind of enjoying it, really. Can you scout the city? The whole city. It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! We made a city map just last week. Marvellous thing. Part of our project to catalogue all the different fish hotspots in the city. Oh, that'll be useful. The ducklings marked each of their favourite place in it too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet that's where they will have gone. Here you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you be able to track them down in no time. Thanks. Ducklings map. A map made by the ducklings. Okay, dokey. Just ignore the fish markers. Can't see what interest they'll be to a kitty unless you're a budding ethiologist, of course. Right, we've got a really nice fact, but I want the shiny first. Give me. 
Right, let's see what else is around here before we start. Right, what's through here? What's it? What's this? Ah! Oh. So there's lots of things to actually check out by the looks of it. Oh, there's the crow. Can I talk to you? You're a bit high up for me to talk to, mate. Kitty, you look like the kind of cat who draws a stylish accessory or two. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Um, is this a trap? Definitely not. Okay. Well, if that's all, I guess I'll see you around. Unrelatedly, you have heard about my new and glorious business venture. Ah. It's called Shinies for Hats. You're selling hats now? Absolutely not. But it's literally called Shinies for Hats. Aha, that's the clever part. I'm not selling hats, I'm selling access to hats. You see, the hats live in these little pod machines. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use the machines. Let me guess, you do. But of course, only I, Crow, can perform the ancient crew ritual of inserting a token and turning a knob. That doesn't sound so di- Which brings us to business. My proposition is as follows. Five lets you hire one crow, that's me, to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No, I'm a facilitator operating within a gig economy of framework. With a business call shiny for hats. Yes, but only because shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with consumers. And to use this business, I pay five shinies and get one hat. You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. Right. Look, do you want a hat or not? Ah, let's get a hat. Here you go. We got a pear hat. Where's the other pear? Let's go through here quickly and have a look. Speaking of hats, we don't need that hat after all. Is this the other pear hat? The total hat! Ah! Oh, I like that Mario little hint towards Mario. Oh, we should be able to then move this out of the way. We're really gaining access to a lot of the areas now, which is cool. Okay, let's get back through here and see what was around this other side, I guess. We've just got to look for ducklings and just do everything for everyone. Oh, just as a, just as a, a wonder. Can we put it in there? Okay, so there was a pink one I saw. So we should be able to um, do that as well for that pink one. Donut. Okay, so we've got one more dog to do, which is obviously round the other side, I believe. something up here. No? Really? Okay. Oh, stop going into everything. <laughs> I like how the fat cat, the, the, I like how the fact the cat was very uncertain of that. Oh, so there's that robot. Another bone. Oh, I tanuki. the doggies their bones right um could we get through here before oh there's a, there's a collectible in there though this map is definitely useful because it, it, i really now that i do know where we are back at the game but it completely has thrown me a butterfly hat right so the duck oh birdless it's also a bin. We'll do have that bin in a second. Sorry, dog. Don't mean to jump on your bum. Okay. Is there anything in here? Oh! Thank you. 
getting quite a few of these hats. I don't know how many hats there are, mind you. Okie dokie, that's not really what I, I thought, but where's this freaking... How do I get back out? Okay, I'm going to go in there. Oh! What's in here? <gasps> Look at all these shinies! Look at these shinies! Oh. Excellent. Right, let's go back around there quickly and grab the other shiny. I love the pitter patter of the feetsies. Okay, so we. Oh, there's a little duckling! I don't know how we're gonna do that though, because of the water. Oh my god! I want my shinies! Oh, we've got to blow the duckling! Now I should always be able to get them shinies then. I think we'll have to go back up there, but oh my god. Ooh. Oh, it's a sunspot. I bet it's a sunspot. There we go. Don't mind me napping on the copier. Hopefully you won't mind, lady. Also, hasn't this lady thought, oh, there's a duck splish splashing around. I'll let it out. I think you. I hope you're not too disappointed to be on dry land again. Now I'm starting to get a tiny bit tired and a big bit hungry. It's a big bit. Um, well, maybe Dad will have snacks. You can ask him at show and tell. I'd forgotten show and tell. That'll be the perfect place to have on about all the swimming I did. Let's go, Kitty. Really want them shinies. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's this? Oh. Yum yum. Quick, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. Yum 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 yum. As fast you can. Oh, thank you. I can climb a bit more now, but... Mm. Right, hopefully the duck's gonna follow. It's fine. Um, I have to come back for them shinies, I think. Um, let's go and deliver this duck back, I guess. Come on. Flap as fast as you can, bird. He's kind of just... Oh, there's another one. Look, look, look. Who's got a little headband on? What are we looking at? Only one of the greatest games of all time. Ugh, are you old enough to be watching this? My dad says I have an old soul. <laughs> Speaking of your dad, he asked me to come and collect you for show and tell. Sure. That was easy. There must be a catch. I'll go as soon as the screen stops showing things. Right, and there it is. When will that be? No idea, I think it's looping so it might never end. I see. But if the screen goes dark, do you promise you'll come back to your dad? Ducklings on her. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shiny. We have to go back for those other shinies in that shop. I just need to remember it's just really bugging me. I wonder if that duckling's trying to climb. No, he's just waiting patiently. Okay. Leave that one for now, I think, because I'm really not too sure. Oh, we'll come back to that duck in a second. We've got a Satsuma hat, okay. Let's drop this duck off. Ah, oh, what a relief. Are we not checked back there either? Wait, this isn't the full brood. That's the sort of thing my partner's in to notice. Should I leave them here while I carry in the search? No, I'll help. Let me help. You can save the kitty as long as you prefer. Well, I don't want you. The kitty being followed by ducklings reminds me of a story I heard as a youngster. Quite the epic tower that was. You see, kitty, let's go. Right, okay, let me get this shiny. There's another duck there. Like a little... 
In the water you go. Okay, so there is the purpose of those little rubber ducks. We know where the nether rubber duck is. We'll do that at some point. And for now, I, was just, I just really don't want all these freaking little ducks. Sorry, lady. He just got cucumbered. She's stomping away with those fucking strop. I don't know if this duck's going to follow me back in here, mind you. No! I was hoping I could just drop, drop off drop off these little ducks. All right. Oh, he is following me. Right, where are these? Okay. Look, duck. Duck. Can I grab him like this, maybe? Oh, you're really peeing me off, animal. Um, hopefully now that's all of them. Okay. Well, let's leave, I guess. So, we know where that duck is. That duck's in this frickin' arcade. Maybe I need to pull these yellow things off. Oh, there's a pipe there. Okay, okay, maybe I need to turn the pipe off. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't notice this last time. Uh-oh. Now will you come with me? Thank you. It's alright. Uh, when I blink, I can see purple shades. I think some time away from that screen is a very good idea. Should we get you back to your dad? Okay, I can tell him all about the new combos I saw M. Bilson do. Let's waddle! I don't know if any of these have shinies. One shiny. Two shiny. I love how all the ducks do look different. That one looks like it's got devil horns. Um, right, let's go and deal with these other two ducks. Should be one up in this store just up here. Oh, also. Right, sorry ducks. Sorry ducks. How can I get through here? This might actually be where the duck is anyway. Wait, just get off the freaking... Yeah, there's a duck in there. But, you know what, we found another nap spot. Nap. Sorry, I'm too busy. I can't bother to get your sibling out of there at the moment. <laughs> I like how I just zoomed in on that duck spinning round and round while we're napping peacefully. Hello in there. Your dad sent me to fetch you for show and tell. But my ride isn't finished. I can't get out while it's still going. How long does it have left? I don't know. I fed it 400 shinies. How long does that give me? Wait, where did you find that many shinies? Um, the humans throw them into the pond to make wishes. I assume they wish for me to have a great day in the machine. What about your dad? You can take me back to my dad as soon as the door pops open. You promise? I promise. There must be a way to get that door open without waiting. What was that? Nothing! Just talking to myself. See you after the ride. How did you get in here? I bet you're wondering how to push that button, huh? You read my mind. It's pretty easy. You just have to use your head. And by use your head, I mean run head first into the button. Okay, then what? Then nothing. You just pop the button with your head and that's it. Won't that hurt? You're made of stronger stuff than that, kitty. A little bonk on the noggin won't harm a cuff cat like you. Are you sure? Certain. Just run head first towards the button. It won't press itself after all. What's this? Oh, I don't know. Um, ah, oh, we've got to go up here and push this button. Ready? Thank you. Come on! Off we go. Did you see me in there? I was tumbling everywhere. I did. Aren't you a bit dizzy now? Nope. 
but I am very warm and fluffy. This must be why I like to be a towel. Anyway, I can't wait to tell Dad all about the death defying drying machine. Shall we go find him then? Yep, let's go. And there should be another one just up here, and there's also a fish. Up there, maybe? Definitely shinies. There's also a bird nest. Maybe the duckling's up here. Ah, oh, there they are. Hello up there. Hi, are you here to see me fly? I'm super great at it. You are, but that isn't why I'm here. Your dad asked me to find you and bring you back to the pond. Is it time for show and tell already? It is. is it is. Okay, okay, but uh, is there a problem? Not a problem exactly, it's just that I don't quite know how I started flying, so I also don't quite know how to stop flying. I see. So unfortunately, I just have to stay up here. Whee! Leave with me, I'll have you down shortly. Right, that's easy. Okay, but not too short if you don't mind, right? It's going to be very shortly. There we go. We got all the ducks. Oh, it's so weird being on solid ground again. Weren't you scared being stuck up there like that? Birds aren't really scared of stuff like that. Dad says that flying is in our feathers. Speaking of your dad, we should get you back to him for show and tell. I can tell him all about flying. Do you think he saw me in the air? I went so high up that he must have. Let's go and then you can ask him. Okay. Yeah, there's literally a fish just here. So must well see if we can quickly find that. Looks like it's hanging up somewhere. Let's have a quick look. I think the fish is up here. I could be very wrong, but this is what I think. Aha! Okay, there's another cat up here. I love how I love the artwork on that cat already. Um, we do anything with the bell. Let's talk to this cat quickly. Oh wow, what a glorious nap spot. I wonder if it'll be free soon. Um, excuse me. Just five more minutes. Five minutes, that's not long to wait at all. I'll let you finish getting up. I'm already getting up, Mum. Stop asking. Mum? Huh? What? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were awake. I just wanted to ask when the nap spot would be free. Is it time for dinner? I'm not sure. I've had a lot of fish today, so my tummy clock isn't very accurate. You have a tummy clock? Yep, my tummy feels empty at exactly dinner time, and that's how I know to go and meow at my human. Ha, huh. I just wait for that bell to ring. It means the human has put my food on their plate. Will that be soon, do you think? Who knows? I do not operate the bell because I do not operate the can opener. You really only move from your nap spot when you hear the bell. Hear the bell and see the food on my plate. I was tricked by a bird who picked the bell once. Ten extra paces I walked that day. It was an outrage. I'll never get that nap time back. But hypothetically, if this food in the plate and the bell rings, you'll get up. Yes. Both hypothetically and in practice. Good to know. And do you like any foods that don't require a can opener? Hypothetically. Oh, bother. She's dozing off again. We'll have a good look at that little face. Oh, look at the face. I like bagels. Bagels, huh? I think the humans have those. No, Mr. Elephant, the bagels aren't ready yet. With the elephant. This must be a really powerful nut spot. I can't wait to try it. Okay, right, let's get these ducks back. Um, I'm not too sure where the fish is at the moment. Right, I've got all of your frickin' ducks. One, two, three, and four. That's all of them. What a relief. I'm starting to get a little panicky. We were fine, Dad. I was the most fine. 
You are not. What's two? Nah, uh, yaha. Children, please, you are you are all exactly the same amount of fine. It was nice to meet you all. Oh, children, have you thanked the kind kitty for all their help? Thank you. You're welcome. Not you, we're talking to the kitty. Thank you, kitty. We love you, kitty. That's quite okay. Dad, you have to say it too. Ah, uh, quite right. Thank you, kitty. Please take this reward for everything you've done. Oh, we got a duck cat. I like that. I like the duck cat. The duck cat makes me happy. It reminds you that you're always part of the duck family. Dad, 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 is it time for show and tell? Absolutely. Let's do it over in the pond. Rad. Bye bye, kitty. Toodaloo. Enjoy your hat. My show and tell is going to be the best. We're saying goodbye to the kitty. It's useful information. Stay safe, ducklings. Have a great show and tell. Oh, they're actually in there as well. With the fake one. Well, actually, one thing I want to do, and then I'm probably going to leave it there for today, because I'm going to forget it otherwise. Well, I won't in theory, because the um, uh, achievements will remind me. But I just want to do it because it's going to bug me. Almost there. Almost in the... No, wrong way, cat. No. No. Come on. In the frickin' go. Hey! 